everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading that is for the beautiful sign of Virgo. So my dear friends of Virgo, please do take whatever is good for you. Leave the rest of it aside. It is a weekly love reading. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto that subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated. Also, if you would like to contact me two ways, right below into the YouTube description box or an even better way is to come and reach me into a live reading. I'm here every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all for the way until midnight. So if you have one of those burning questions, please do come and join me. So let's start this reading off over here. Um, we are using some fortune telling cards. We're using two different uh, tarot decks and we're going to finish it off with some oracles. So let's go and see what's in store for you this week. We are beginning off here with a, a new relationship blossoms. Love is coming in for you guys, Virgo, this week. But you do need to be careful. I do have a little bit of danger coming on. I do have some secrets of yours. Okay, so whatever this new love, whoever this is who's coming into your life, or maybe this could also be about a renewal into your relationship, okay? If you're single, somebody's coming in, but if you're single, I do have to say there are some red flags. Um, uh, just be careful with these red flags that are coming in, okay? Because this new relationship, I feel as though maybe, just maybe they're not going to be quite looking for the same thing that you are. Anyways, not at first. So if this is a new relationship, just be very careful that, you know, further on into the path that you're both going into the same direction that you do wish to go. Um, but I do have to say, love is definitely coming into your life. If you're already into your relationship, this is the occasion to renew that relationship. It's that occasion to say, you know what? I love you. You love me. What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Why don't we just step this up a little bit over here? But I do believe that all through this love that is here, we do have to be a little bit careful with our imagination. We have to be a little bit careful over here with our judgment on what we want. Is it realistic or not? Does our partner want all of that with us? This is gonna might be a little bit of a compromise over here and there, but all together, I do have to say, this is absolutely beautiful. Let me go and see what the tarot cards have to say. So, new love, if you are single and if you're in a relationship, we're speaking about stepping this up. We're speaking about getting a little bit of extra something, putting some spice and some passion into this relationship. Use your beautiful imagination. Here we go. Do something you haven't done in the longest of time. This, here we go with the five of stars, a grand master we have. We also have the emperor. I have the three of empress. You know what? It's as if, as if into this relationship over here, um, I really, really feel that this week you're going to get a surprise. I feel that either your partner, I feel like your partner is going to try to surprise you with something. I feel like they're going to up their game a little bit. I feel like this is necessary. Um, I feel like you need this for your personal being, for your love, for your... For your connection, I don't know if your connection has been a little bit distant or not lately, but I feel like this week is time for a surprise. This week it is time to rekindle that love. And I feel like a surprise, and I feel like the surprise is not necessarily monetary or something that you can touch. I feel like they're going to surprise you with. It could be a nice romantic supper or an evening. It could be about going out to do something together or just really starting to look at a project together. What do you want together into this relationship? With the Grand Master over here, which is um, a lot like the Hierophant, we're speaking here about figuring things out, going a little bit higher up and seeing what do you want? What do I want? Let's work on this right now. I feel like this is where we're at into this relationship right now. Now, uh, your partner can't do this all by, you know, him or herself. So, this is going to be about working together with that. Let me go and see what else I have over here. So, so far, a beautiful week for you. I'm not really seeing anything bad. I'm seeing but blessings and moving up and surprises and love. 
what else do we have going on? I do have over here the King of Pumpkins. Now, the King of Pumpkins wants to do some really great things, you know, with you. But the King of Pumpkins might need a little bit of, um, a little bit of imagination, a little bit of how could I say, a little bit of help in order to realize what it is that he or she wants to do here with you. We are getting over here the lovers how the love is present. I have the four of ghost over here. So you know what? I feel as though we are moving on to this beautiful voyage together. Um, and when I speak about voyage, it's not a word that I use lightly here. I'm using it because for some of you, this is going off for a weekend. For some of you, this is taking a trip. This is taking a certain vacation somewhere. It may be a vacation that's coming for Christmas or later on, it doesn't really matter, but it's the planning of this that is going to be arriving. So what you really need to remember this week is whatever is being prepared here is being prepared for you. It's a special gift because you are loved, because um, this is necessary. Also, I feel to bring back that passion to make it a little bit more stronger. And it's really about upping up that game. So for those of you who, you know, I have over here the lovers, for those of you who have uh, been wanting to get married or who have been wanting to just, you know, get engaged or just have that extra little something here that is coming up into this relationship, well, it's time. May it be about moving in together. It does not really matter. My overall card at the bottom of the deck over here, which is influencing everything, is the world. So whatever it is that you want is going to be able to manifest within this relationship. So fantastic. I am loving. This is a beautiful reading. I do have to say, I believe it is the most beautiful reading that I have done this week into my love readings in all 12 signs. This one here is full of love, full of potential. Whatever it is that you want, you can trust your partner. Your partner can trust you and you can know that this is about stepping it up. Let's go see. I just kind of feel like he's I, he or she is just kind of missing on some some ideas maybe. So they might want to have a couple of ideas about something that you really, really, really want to do or a place that you would like to go. But other than that, this is about acceptance. It's about having that beautiful equality. So it's about that balancing everything out into this relationship. I'm also getting here your intuition. Always important to follow your intuition within all of this. So um, if you have Anything that you need to say to your partner that is coming through to you, it is time to say it. Let's not wait for it. Let's just listen to it and go for it. So that being said, I do have to say nothing but greatness. There is nothing. There's no challenges really coming on in. It's all about receiving greatness. It's about surprises. It's about beauty. It's about planning towards the future. So my dear friends, Virgo, I mean, you're just going to have a most fantastic week. Your partner loves you. Your partner wants to move on forward with you. Your partner wants to surprise you with greatness. So that being said, I'm going to wish you the most fantastic week. Lots of love. If you have any questions whatsoever, you'd like to come and join me into a reading, please do. Nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I am here answering your questions. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe, onto the like button. I thank you for being there and thank you for listening. And I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. So many blessings sent your way.